Well, my name is Melinda Emerson. My nickname is The Small Biz Lady, and I specialize in helping people transition from having a job to starting a business. I also help people reinvent their businesses, because a lot of times people have been in business a long time. They realize that the nature of doing business has changed, and I help them look at how their industry has changed and develop a new game plan for their business and themselves. What's the biggest tip you can give someone who's been thinking about starting their own business, but they just feel afraid. They, they need to develop a life plan before they ever develop a business plan. It's really important that you figure out what you want out of life, how much money you need to make to be happy, what you will and won't do, and then start a business that supports that vision. The next thing you got to do is figure out whether or not you can even afford to become an entrepreneur. It's really about having a financial plan and your ability to save has everything to do with your ability to start a business. And the third thing you got to do is really look at your business idea and validate whether or not you know who your customer is. You know, do you really have a business idea or do you have a glorified hobby? You really need to know that. And the fourth thing you got to know is who's going to buy from you and why. You have to have a secret sauce or a signature move. You've got to have a differentiator because nobody is looking for yet another small business to do business with. And lastly, you got to have a business plan and you got to realize that it's a living, breathing document that you need to update every two to three months to make sure your business is on the right track, particularly in the first few years you're in business. Inspire us and tell us how you did it. Well, I knew from the time I was in college that one day I wanted to start my own business, but I knew I needed to learn my industry. So I worked for six years in television as a television producer, and then I launched out in 1999 on my own with my own production company. And then I decided that I wanted to reinvent myself. I decided that the most valuable thing in my business was what I learned from running it. And I decided that I wanted to help entrepreneurs not make all of the expensive mistakes that I made when I started out in business. So that's how I ended up writing my book, Become Your Own Boss in 12 Months. And that's how I became the small biz lady. And I have a great blog that's a resource to small business owners called SucceedAsYourOwnBoss.com. So reinventing yourself, what's a tip that you would give women about, you know, because so, a lot of people feel stuck. A lot of people feel like, oh, I can never do this because this, this is where I am. This is what I do. You know what I mean? They're stuck. They don't know how to get out of where they're at. Well, I think that a lot of times if you feel stuck, that's because you're working on somebody else's agenda and not your own. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways to figure out your agenda or your game plan is to develop a life plan. You really need to figure out what you like, what you love, what makes you laugh, and what you still need to learn. And if you figure those things out, the path that you need to follow will be very clear to you.